In this video, we will be editing these first three clips shown here as part one of this series. In part two, we will be editing clips similar to these, so stay tuned! Okay, in this shot, I was in a bus. So I'm going to show the scenery outside the window. I'll add my first keyframe here. And I'll mark the end around here. And then I'll trim the end. I'm going to add this natural view. And I'll try to line this bottom up with this road so it looks pretty straight to me for the first keyframe the last keyframe will do the same thing add natural view straighten it out and what I'm thinking of doing is adding another keyframe about a second before the last one so at the six second mark then at the seven second mark I will add a rotation, a 360 rotation, so that I can transition into this next clip um, that we will be editing together. So let's do this and let's add um, a fade in slip out transition. And I don't think I straightened this. Yeah, it looks a little off. So let's straighten that. That looks beautiful. Okay, so now let's play it all together, shall we, and see what we got. Nice, beautiful, straight, beautiful water. Ooh, look at those clouds. So beautiful. Oh, and there's a spin. Okay. And this one is done. Alright, so I'm going to start the export. Um, this is my 4K export settings. Um, Bitrate is 200, resolution is 3840 by 2160, and the encoding format is H265. And I'll add this to my queue. And on to the next one, Nellies. Okay, so here's a second clip. I'm going to choose what I want in my view. Clearly, still in the bus. Um, let's see, red buildings, turning, ooh, a roundabout, I love me a roundabout. I'm gonna choose these houses here. I'm gonna add a keyframe here to start. Natural view always, just so that things aren't distorted. Um, sometimes I'll add this to 100 degrees if I want a wider angle, but for now I'll keep this at 90 degrees because it looks just fine to me. Then I'm going to add an ending keyframe. And since I'm gonna be spinning into this clip from this last clip, number 497, I'm going to go to the 23 second mark. Right now we're at 24 seconds. So I'm gonna go to 23 and I'm going to add a keyframe. Make a natural view, mark this as a trim start, mark this as a trim end, and I'm going to do a negative 360. So remember in the first clip, we did a positive 360, so it's one full rotation, so it spins to the right. And in this second clip, we still want it to spin to the right. We're going to do a slip in, fade out transition. And let's see how that looks. Let's straighten out these. And let's take a look at what we have. That looks like a pure beauty to me. So I'm going to export 
same settings i never touch these settings haven't touched them for over a year and a half since i got my camera i'm gonna add this to my queue here's the final result of the transition we just created with these two clips So for this shot, let's see what I was trying to do. Love the foreground here. I'm going to mark this as my trim start. And let's see when I want to make it end. Probably here because traffic stopped. And we don't want to show a traffic jam now, do we? Absolutely not. Okay, so I'm going to add another keyframe here. That's about 11 seconds. That's perfect to me. Added a keyframe at the end. I'm going to add a keyframe at the beginning. Um, I think for this first portion, I'm going to do a slight rotation. So just to add a little more movement, you know what I'm saying. And what I'm going to do is a zigzag. So right now I'm holding the camera on top of me. What I'm going to do is I'll add a keyframe here. Probably like at the one second mark. And that's at negative 27.6 degrees. So I'll add another one two seconds later. And I'll go the opposite way. Then I'll do the same thing here. I'll copy this one. Two seconds later, roughly, I'll do slightly different rotation. I'll copy this one, do this, slightly different rotation just so it's not all exactly the same, you know what I'm saying? And this one, I'll move over here, make that the end, and make this negative. Okay, and I'm going to add uh fade in fade out transition into each one of these okay let's take a look at what we got so we got this beautiful grape foreground ooh pretty Okay, so one thing I didn't like about this is that the spin transitions were too fast. So what I'm going to do instead is I'll make each keyframe three seconds apart. So this is sort of what I do. This is the process that I go through. I say, oh, maybe like two seconds would look good. And now I'm thinking the movement is too fast. So I'm going to spread it out now and reduce the amount of keyframes. So this one gets deleted, this one gets moved to the end, and let's see what that looks like. See now this looks better and smoother on the eyes. This is what we're going to go with. And so I'm going to add this to the queue. Hope you found this video helpful and check out part two for more. Toodles!